Do you, you've you've had the Pro Max, the new phone for a while, right? Yeah, but I, it's a it's already it's already fucking up. That means a new phone's coming out. Like I can tell when the new phone's I've about to come out because my phone starts acting up. The thirteen or the <clears throat> I never I don't have the island thing. Like I still the island thing. You know when the new one came out, you have the 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 notch on the top is like the island. Oh, oh the camera oh, cutout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you know it's the new one is because it has oh, that. Okay. But oh, you've got I, the dip. Yeah, but I've just been like lately. I've mine's been kind oh of. Oh my god! Up. I have the dip. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Had the money, y'all. Uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> poor people around. But I've just been kind of itching to get a new phone. Did you? I, see- I try to. I try to keep up with every time because my my phone always fucks up. It starts acting up on me every time a new phone comes out. Did you see the new iOS 17 <clears throat> update? What's coming? No. It, actually, pretty good. It looks. There's a lot. It actually cures cancer. The it one, does. The next, Hold the, it the up to your one. ear. There's mm-hmm. sometimes there's so many updates and like I just like to naturally discover them as I have the phone. But then I'm like, I need to sit down and do my homework and know what my phone is capable yeah. of. There's some stuff that I. So, some of it's pretty cool, but then some of it is very like 2015 Samsung tech. Oh, so you're like, this is. It's like a new way to share for uh for uh what is it? Air air. Air, air, airdrop? Air, airdrop? airdrop it's like a new way to airdrop it's like instead of like pressing to airdrop just touch your phones together i'm like oh yeah what that's in the, the tamagotchi that's the <laughs> <laughs> nfc for like samsung from like high school yeah oh yeah it was it was like just touch your phones together and you can send it wirelessly yeah or like bump or they had like yeah that one app where you like bumped in the people uh, and then the one after you're gonna be able to clip it <laughs> Just, uh, but then they have like a journal now. Ooh, like um, better than the, the notes? The app, notes? Or? Yeah, so basically it'll tell you what you've done that day as like suggestions because it'll go through like your map. So it'll know where you were, like what photos you took. It'll be like, oh, this is things you did today. Ah, uh-uh. it's, 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 uh, mind it's, your, it's own, mind it's your own business. It knows what you Googled. <laughs> you, <laughs> thought, you thought you had cancer today and you Googled <laughs> all the symptoms right? of why you yeah, thought right, you were going right, to die. Right. Suggest, <laughs> suggest you make a doctor's appointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you little hypochondria. <laughs> but yeah, there is uh, some, some we, cool features. It has a iOS. IOS 17, has it officially rolled out or is it in that beta tomorrow. stage? Okay, so we're going to wake up. It's like Christmas with a whole new Usually phone. Usually I don't give a shit when like the new iPhone drops, but like now I'm just going to keep up. Every, yeah. like, the minute the minute you're able to like pre-buy, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pre-buy like fuck it. Yeah. Because do you, do you, pay, do you pay off your phone at all or do you? I always pay cash. I always, yeah, pay, pay cash. cash. I, and I, then don't, do I don't tra- do, the, do you trade yeah. your phone in to get the discount yeah. for the next one? Yeah, but they don't give you shit. I, I guess just, it I used just, to be, you used to be able to trade in your phone and for free, you just get a, a different one. I remember yeah. that waiting like the two years, you're like, oh, my two year yes. upgrade is coming. I can get the new flip. Or, um, uh, you, or you'd see your parents that they have an upgrade available and you're like, <laughs> Can you're I? not getting a new phone <laughs> yes. anytime soon, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I do. I try to convince my parents. Are you still on your parents' family plan? No. no. Shit, I am. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. I, I But I give my mom money. Are you and Patricia going to start a family plan? I don't know. Oh, I think we're going to start a Spotify family plan. Because <laughs> 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 we don't need two Spotify subscriptions right, if right. we're playing the same music in the house. But... No, is that weird? I'm still on my parents' family plan. I think we they, we save money by being on it. I think my grandparents are on my mom and that dad's makes sense. Fam- yeah, you you save money because you get like an additional line for cheaper than having like a whole another account. I, I but there's a like I don't know why I'm on Verizon though. Like wh- wh- I don't know what made me go from whatever my you family's were on Sprint. On. You used to be a Sprint guy, right? Oh yeah, we and were then, a big Sprint family, and then we moved out here and Sprint. Horrible. Yeah, depending on like nothing what was state you're in. I haven't heard anything from Sprint in years. Oh wait, there's yeah. Sprint doesn't exist anymore, they, right? Dude, Yo, that's like do, singular. They don't even do ads <laughs> yeah. anymore. Wait, is it's Sprint like still around? Wait, yeah, is I have not seen. I, a so Sprint I literally commercial. don't know if Sprint's the thing anymore. I think it's T-Mobile now, isn't it? Like T-Mobile. Oh. Sprint team. Uh, wait, really? <clears throat> yeah, it's T-Mobile. Oh, okay. I was always like, wow. I used to have Ver- Verizon had a chokehold on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they killed it out there. Verizon's <laughs> really good out here. Do you remember oh, when this? Ex- except except when I we have- drive to the canyon, then you're like screwed. What do I have? AT and T. You have AT and T. I've had it all. Do you remember when the Sprint guy? Or the Verizon guy left Verizon and then became the Sprint guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Good. Yes. And then he joined Sprint. Scandal. <laughs> that Horrible. was a big skit. And that was like kind of a trait. Like that was a treacherous that thing would to be do, like, right? That would be like Flo going to like Geico. You don't oh do it. Oh my God. There has to be some contract where it's like, 
You can't. It doesn't matter what happens. You cannot go to another insurance company. His contract was probably up. He but was still, in for though, a long yeah. But, time. but it doesn't. You don't look good as a <laughs> as an Allstate getting flow from Progressive, right? Or do you look I don't know. cool? It gets people talking. Yeah, yeah. It what does. are you wearing, Flow from State Farm? <laughs> right. I bet they own Flow. What if the Pine Saw lady just like up and dipped and became like Lysol? Do, do you think? Do you think like they own her so bad? Where like if she tried, if they find out she was power, trying to move it, they would power Windex, baby. It like, just it doesn't work. I feel like they run the test of the market, and they know if they took her off the commercials. No one would watch I think Flo's a part of the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. it, uh, in a few years, she's going to come I out. I think she knows when the world's ending. 100%. Flo knows something we don't. She, yeah. She, she, like the president, Flo. Or no, the president, the government, Flo. She should run for president. Yeah. I'm curious if like there, if she's allowed, uh, the actress, does she have like her own personal Instagram? Is she able to like post and share her life or can, can she only be known as Oh no, Flo? I think she, uh, have, have you checked? Mm. I feel like you've checked. No, but that the, but, checked by well, I always yeah, think the progressive. <laughs> I always think the progressive girl's really pretty. So she, I think she's she, on she Instagram. Is cute. She's a cute girl. She reminds or me of AT and T girl. The AT and T girl, the one who dated John Mayer. Huh? That one. Uh, I don't know. There was an AT and T mascot. The AT and T. Oh, oh girl. yes, yes, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah she's, she's been a, in movies. Yeah, Mar Malina Maliana. <laughs> yeah, she dated John Mayer. Okay. It, yeah. All right, let's roll the intro. Oh, let's do it. Right. It's Kavitao, baby. baby. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And, and we are. Exhausted. I have lost my voice. I don't feel like you've lost oh, your yeah, voice. It you sound not bad. It's because I'm really. I, I I've not talked the entire day just so I didn't sound. You were like you were bad shit. yesterday. You're good I was today. Really bad. Yesterday. Was it from David's party? Did that take a lot out of you? Yeah, it was hectic. How was it? I wasn't there. I was in Florida. Um, it looked like mayhem. It was. It was mayhem. It was. It was really really fun. It was yeah. really really fun. How early did you guys get there, and how late did you end up staying? So we ended up getting there around like 4, 4. p.m. So the flyer said. 5 p.m. till like 11, 30, 12, right? And for the, the past few years, every time David throws a party, people never show up until like- Until it's getting dark. 8, 9 p.m. Yeah. Especially when, when you hold a party that early. And we, it, it's, it's so hot outside too. And I, and I knew that like nobody's gonna show up until like 8 p.m. And that's what happened. We all showed up early, yeah. but it was like, we, we just enjoyed the, you know, we we're just- they, they were there they for trickled the, in the build up. The build up. Yeah. So it was it was a Y two K theme party, right? <laughs> and so everything was very like two thousands. You know the decor. They had the TV, the old school TVs. They had the the um the little cloud backdrop and anything else I'm missing. We all dressed up in like as best as we can at least. Yeah. Two thousands yeah. theme and um and then they had or David had the All American Rejects. That's amazing. Perform. I was gonna. Were they on time? Yeah, they were yeah. on time. They were actually there before. Yeah, oh, they were sitting hear? in the podcast room the whole time, and I went in to use the bathroom, and I walked in not knowing they were sitting in there, and I about <laughs> shit my pants before I got in. Hey, they're like, hey, we'll keep your dirty little secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I walked in, and I was just like. They were, they were like, P, you, you really put a stinker in there. <laughs> Man, that was. They actually had a sound check before, so I think they just like stayed there the whole day. Oh, cool. Until they performed. Did, how how did they seem as like a group? Like, did it seem they're, like. They were really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like being at an actual concert, if that makes sense. Like, obviously it was a performance, but like, it felt like being at a venue watching them. Whoa. It didn't feel like a backyard performance. Right, the state like they did the, the stage, stage really well. Insane. The stage was insane. We're they, like David's uh, neighbors coming out on their balconies in the hills. Like I think there's, a, I think there's a few neighbors uh, that yeah. actually showed up. Whoa! Because David usually like gives them wine and shit and just say, "Hey, like just letting you know my birthday's tonight." Here's Imagine the wine. being in the neighborhood not knowing he was throwing that party and you just hear it and you're like, "Is that?" Is that all I would be like, why is somebody having a cover band? <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't be like, that's yeah. them performing. Yeah, because yeah. that, that sounds insane to have the actual yeah, it's just them performing in a perform. Back. You know what was mind blowing? It was a little bittersweet. Um, the crowd was really good, but I was like, why is it not? It doesn't feel like as big as I thought it would be. There was like 300 plus people there. There was a lot of people. And we realized that if even if there's like 21 year olds, 
they don't know who they are. Yeah. So the I looked around and the only people that were freaking out, we were late twenties, early thirties. Right. Yeah. So it was yeah. Like, we were we were going hard. Yeah, we were going hard. So it was and it's crazy how like nostalgic it is to us and like we were getting like emotional it was just like i always say like when i hear their music i just picture my school dances like middle school school dances yeah. when darkness <laughs> and then we had a like, few tiktokers in the back that were just like yeah and <laughs> I, probably no idea i like right. walked away for a second and there was people in the house who just didn't care there was people sitting by the pool like and this i was is, like oh, this is the all american reject yes. so i i felt my age in that moment because a lot of the people were in their mm -hmm. early 20s and they were like eh. yeah like this this is like historical did he yeah. did he like shout out like just want to say david thank you so much for having us yeah happy he said happy. something like that but yeah Happy birthday. Yeah, I mean, it was just very, you know, okay. backyard they, they were there to perform. Stuff. Yeah, it was like a, a, a legit live show. That's dope. They did it really real. well. They sound amazing. Yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they still sound really good. They still got it. That's yeah. That's great. But, uh, called, Tyson Ritter, he has a kid and wife now. Whoa. As a family. Is that the lead singer? Is that his yeah. name? His name's yeah. Tyson? Mm-hmm. He his looks name exactly is the same. Tyson. 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 I never thought, I, he never struck me as a Tyson. The lead, I always thought he would be like a Jake. He does have or a like Jake, an Andrew, or like, a, like a Parker, Parker, a Parker. That's good. Parker. He looks exactly the same. Did he bring his kids? Oh, <laughs> I, don't think so. I mean, maybe. We, I we mean, no, I think he, like he has a baby, like like a baby, baby, okay. a newborn. Nice. Yeah, a baby, baby. Um, <laughs> so did anything fun. get well, out uh, of hand? Oh, I remember. I forget. It was Jessica. Jess. It was Jess. I remember she was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, I want to hook. I want to like. I, I want to." Oh, but and she, I think she flashed, she flashed him through the in the middle. Yes, that's funny. And not realizing that he has a wife and kid. Oh, <laughs> and then after someone told her, and she was like, "Oh my god, I flashed him." <laughs> I bet people are still flashing. I know, I know, I know, I know. But like normally, it's like in a big venue. But like. He, he can see. Yeah. He can how, see. How did that start? <laughs> like, one. wow, this is a really good show. I'm gonna show him my boobs. Like, <laughs> how does that get I, your I attention? Think, here's like, the thing. If I was a girl and I had boobs, I'd probably be flashing all the time. Just uh, for fun. Yeah, we know you would. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, no, I the whole night that was, it was really fun. And um Did anything break? Did anything get damaged? Was anyone out of like, hand? No, it was very tame. There, there was, was not just a Flood of people. Everybody was, was like a good chill. Could, you, yeah. could you get a drink easy or was it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, but what's, what's very funny is that of course the next day when all the pictures come out, you're like, Oh, I had no idea this person and this person and this person was there because it yes. was just so scattered. Yeah. And it was really annoying that there was like a few people that like, that was like, Oh shit. I didn't know they were there. And I yeah. didn't see them at all at all. Damn. Was there anyone like you did not expect who showed Alex up? Alex Ernst. <laughs> he showed up. I, I didn't even know he was there. I saw pictures afterwards. I was like, what the? Whoa. He's like a property now and he's building steps. <laughs> he's Have you can't can keep it up with Alex I saw Ernst. That. Dude, I, I watched the whole thing. Yeah. I was like, I can't. It was like, he's really growing up. Oh, Alex Ernst. I think he does it right though. He, he just focuses on himself. And yeah. just, he, know, he chases his peace yeah. constantly. He knows what he d brings in peace. And, and he's like really happy about little things. Like yeah. he, he finds joy in little projects. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool. That's great. He's going to be a really good dad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the party was a really good who, time. Who else was there that was just like, oh, they're here. Uh, Mitch. What's his name? McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole time. <laughs> Mitch um, oh, Hedberg. Did you RIP. see that one older dude that, that walked that's, in. That's Mitch McConnell. The oh, guy wait, who what froze. are you talking about? No, there was like this this older dude that just walked in. And it looked like oh, he just walked party. into his own party. Maybe it was like, a neighbor. Who is that, that guy? I don't know, but this guy, it, like, it, I felt like a Dan Bilzerian just walked in or like uh, a Mike Tyson. And you're like, oh, shit. Is who's it, this big ass fighter? It, isn't, <laughs> you, do you know? I didn't see you know, him. Isn't David's neighbor like an arms dealer? A what? Arms dealer? Careful. Like, no. Oh, I thought that, uh, one of his neighbors, that's how he's he like just, made his he, money. I, he's just Russian. That's a. Oh, so he I is heard an arms, arms dealer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard arms dealer no. way early on oh, when they no, moved no, no. in. I think he's just Russian. I think he took Russian and arms dealer and just. <laughs> I didn't know he was Russian. I just, I, I never met him. I just know he lives next. I thought. Breaking the stereotype. <laughs> Normalize uh, arms dealers. <laughs> I can't think of anything else that 
No, I think did I he have to kick video. everybody out or everybody just kind of like left? We we left around like ten or ten thirty. Right, but we um, saw in the group chat, Scott was like, "Do you want to? Do you want me to tell people to leave?" And Natalie's like, "Yeah, please," because we just left. So they went to the club and there were still people lingering. And she was uh, like, "Can you tell everyone to leave?" <laughs> that's the best though when you get the invite to stay at a party mm. when like you know there's a huge big party they, but you're not sure obviously for a david one we are invited to stay but when you're at one of those like big parties and you're like fuck do i gotta go and they're like hey here's a white wristband <laughs> go upstairs everyone else is out why's well, it gotta the, be a white wristband i don't know i feel like that's what case had <laughs> at his parties i don't know it's something you see easy. ross lynch was there ross lynch that's who i was thinking. yeah who about. invited him I mean, not in a bad way, but like, yeah. oh, oh, he's on Outer Banks. No, shit. <laughs> Ooh, try again, boo -boo. I don't know. He was from Disney Channel, but he was like after we were too old to watch it. Oh, he played Dahmer in the My and Friend that, Dahmer yes. movie. Oh, he's a good actor. Okay, Slay Queen. I'm an ally. Look, he's a little cowboy. <laughs> Austin, oh, Austin and Allie. That's not Austin and Allie. <laughs> 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 ah, that was Damn, good. He's fucking ripped though. Look at that. That's what I want. Dude, you know he wanted the Elvis role more than Austin <laughs> Butler. <laughs> <laughs> They're going with who? Damn. <laughs> you went with Austin? Shit. Anything else? I can't think of anything else. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. We've got the app on our phones, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. And whether it's concerts, baseball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. And if you guys don't know, there's a lot of hot artists that are performing right now. You can get concert tickets right now at SeatGeek that we got Taylor Swift, we got uh, Drake, we got uh, Post Malone, and ooh. so much more. And when I get my Post Malone tickets, baby, I'm going to be looking for them green dots. If you didn't know and you're on the app, look for green. It means it's a good deal. And if it's red, it's not the best deal. I know. I know. Settle down. You're probably all freaking out. How am I going to get How do I get tickets? my deal? Exactly. But don't worry. We've got the hookup. Use our code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered. And make sure to click the link in our description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring another episode of ours. We love you so much. We appreciate you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Mm-hmm. I saw some rock stars over the weekend that were on my flight. Oh yeah, who? first one old well, school where, rock you, star. Well, and I'm, I want to. I'm curious if you can guess who, who? it is. Okay, where'd you go? Sorry, uh, I went to Florida. It was Patricia's oh, dad's uh, birthday. We went down to the <clears throat> beach condo down in Destin. Des Destin. Destin, baby. All right. Destin. Who the fuck went to Destin in Florida? Destin, Do you know anybody no, that ever went to Destin? No. Well, I guess it was kind of on the other side of like it's in the Panhandle of like. Of Florida, right? It's the Emerald Coast. It's gorgeous out there. Okay, all it right. really is. Um, the water and sand are amazing. But on my flight there, he, I'm curious if you can guess who it is. Old school rock star. Obviously, he's still flying like American can we pause first. For a second? Do you guys hear that? It's the cat music. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Rock star from like uh, I would say late 70s, early 80s. I okay. believe he kind of had one really big song. Okay. Um, are you giving me clues like you know who it is? You, you, you would, you know who this is. Do you know who it is? Uh, well, right when I saw him, <laughs> no, right when I saw him, I he had he had sunglasses on, a mask, long hair, and was just like chilling there. And I'm like, that would uh -huh. be somebody who I, like that looks like him. He had a turquoise necklace on. I looked up on his Instagram and I saw him wearing a turquoise necklace. And I was like, but oh, you okay. knew who that was just by looking at him with just, a mask. Just by looking at him with a mask, I like could figure it out. I mean, are you, does he have to guess who it is? I don't know. I'm just curious. You have to, uh, can you give him like a? Um, he has a song about someone. Like it's a name. Roxanne. No, that's Sting. Police. He's a little too famous. A little lower. Uh, I'm trying to think of name songs. Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Matt Sweet Haley. Caroline. 1975. Oh, I wish that he wasn't on it. But someone British was on my flight back home. Who? Yo, who yo, was my British, cuz. Who was British? Who like, talks like this? Oh, young blood. Yep, he was right there. Oh, oh, you cool. know why? Because he was uh, he was just in New York. And my little sister, Hidaya, was actually watching a show. She had, no, she had no idea who he was, right? She was like, who the hell is this guy? Yeah. And everybody was like, that's Youngblood. I was she on was a like, no six-hour delay with him. But yeah, Youngblood was there. But uh, oh, did he look just like starts himself? Starts with a J. The name starts with a J. Uh, John. JoJo. No, it's a, it's a song from like the 70s. It's like a rock song. It's like everyone knows Jasper. it. Jasper. Close. Janessa. Uh, 
No, it was uh, Jolene. Jesse's girl. Oh. oh, oh, the cars. Rick Springfield. <laughs> I'm surprised. I said cars. <laughs> the cars. <laughs> That's a good guess. Um, I'm surprised you know cars. I'm surprised you recognized it. Yeah, right there on the money. Rick That's Springfield. Really crazy so, that you recognize that. That's cool. Yeah. Old. Do you even listen to wow. him? Yeah. No, I think I've seen him like in movies. He's always has like cameos. Oh, he, lo he looks like okay. I, if I saw, him, I'd be like okay. My yeah. somebody, but I don't know who though. My man wants to be Mick Jagger and <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Hey, so let him be. He's a fucking trick. He's a rock star. Yeah, he was on let my him, flight. Let him be. But like nobody, it seemed like nobody kind of knew. And nobody kind of seemed to know Youngblood. Or like he was hanging around like at the gate. Not nobody. Really? But, yeah, but I he's mean, very recognizable. I was just like, I don't think anybody in this group knows that this guy performs oh, well, for an arena. Okay, but the, his fan base is so it's I feel, it's a very specific That's fan young base. Young he's young. also so easily recognizable. I, yeah. Wow, this is my first time looking at him. He looks like he looked badass. He like he like a kitty ear beanie <laughs> sitting in the front seat. Just, he would have killed it back in the Sawgrass days, the scene yeah, days. Absolutely, he'd be top dog, hundred percent, top MySpace like creator. Hundred. What is he saying? All my friends say, <laughs> and I don't want to be a loner. Oh, get it. <laughs> He's done some songs with Machine Gun Kelly, too. He's really great. Anyways, oh, this kind of happened at the airport. I don't know if it's that interesting of a story. I got usually, I'm when I travel, I never lose anything. I always got my phone, wallet, keys. Mm -hmm. I've always been really responsible. We fly from Destin to Dallas. We get off Dallas. We had to wake up for like a 5 a.m. flight. We are so tired. And immediately right when we get to our gate, uh, I, t I immediately go to sleep. Patricia, uh, you know, she always checks in her bag. She has her little tote bag. She likes to put it on my little rolly carry-on and she walks around the airport with it, okay? She has it. I'm all good. We're on standby. We're on two separate seats. We're not even sitting next to each other. I wake up and she's like, she goes, <laughs> he's not, he's not really about it. we're on different sides. We are good. I told, I, I told that bitch to be nowhere near me. <laughs> she was just, uh, in, she woke up. She was like, hey, I, I, my group has to board right now. I have to get on. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I get up like in, in such a hurry. I get on the flight. I'm sitting there and then we're on the fucking tarmac for like two hours. And they go, sorry folks, something wrong with the plane. We gotta go back. And then we're sitting uh, there, they go, we got a deep plane. And I'm like, oh boy, here uh, we go. Not the deep no. plane. Uh. I then open up the cabin and I'm like, my bag's not there. And I'm like, did you, I was like, did you put the bag on? She goes, no, we didn't take the bag on, you had the bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, me dummy left the bag at the gate. I then go, the bag is gone. No, oh and like, they probably called in suspicious bomb oh, squad. Hell, too. Oh, yeah. Buddy, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Cause that's probably why they stopped the plane, to be honest. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with it. I had a moment. Oh, shit, I, had a, I had a big moment where I thought that I was yeah. the reason for the whole delay. But no, something truly was wrong with the plane. <laughs> We, and I get out and I can't find the damn bag. And I'm just like, shit, but hey, hold on, stay optimistic. I go and ask the flight attendant, like, nope, you gotta go check lost and found. They're like, nope, you gotta go to this other lost and found. And the other person's like, no, you gotta go outside the airport, go back in and talk to another lost and found. And I'm like, okay, okay, nobody could find my bag. And I was devastated. Didn't have a tag on it, didn't have an air tag on oh, it. So oh, so it's just gone. No. Well, I was accepting that it was gone and I just couldn't believe it. I was there at the DFW for six hours. I'm like, I can find this bag. Imagine, I have six hours and I love a good mystery. Imagine like, how confused you would be if the plane did take off and you landed at your destination. Oh my gosh, the bag disappears. <laughs> it's a good thing that plane had a D board. Yes, and it was a good thing that I, and then I was like, you know what? I'm counting my blessings, nothing valuable's in it. Nothing is, it's just clothes. Underwears. And undies and uh and then sure enough, they couldn't find it. I asked everybody, I tried to get in contact with the police. They're like, we don't have it. And I had to leave. <laughs> so I called the police. I had to leave the DFW airport. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> My undies. I had to leave the airport without it. And then today, and I already accepted it's gone. You know, you file the claims, you talk yeah, to people. Yeah. They're like, they see it all. I called today and the woman goes, I go, is there a green bag that's back there? And she goes, hold on, I'm on hold for six minutes. She goes, what's in it? And I'm like, uh, oh. a, a green swimsuit, uh, two flip flops. She goes, okay, this is it. And I'm like, wow. Yes. Does one of the underwears have a poop stain <laughs> in, those, <laughs> in the mark. crease? <laughs> I'm oh, mortified. And I even think my swimsuit's like damp. Like I knew like I had to go <laughs> wash it right when I got home. I bet it didn't smell good when she opened it. Oh, I bet it did. Um, but luckily my parents <clears throat> can go pick it up in Dallas and they're going to send it to me. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Thank that God out. it was in Dallas. But I don't know. I lost it and I found it. 
Good for you. Mystery solved. So <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> great story. It's the best when you find something that's lost, though. Yes. Like, it's such a, a good feeling. It made me have hope. But yeah. you know what the best thing is, though? I think surrender that it is lost and that you're not going to find it, but have hope. Mm -hmm. But just, I accepted it was gone. I lost a watch for a year. Oh, really? And I tore the house apart on oh, multiple yeah. occasions. Just like, where's that damn watch? And I was like, I can't, I, I can't believe it's gone. Cause it's cause when we go out of town, we put it in like a safe spot, but we were kind of bouncing around from safe spot to safe spot. I checked so we, every single safe spot. Yeah. Um, and then I remembered, I went on a trip where I bought, uh, brought a couple different watches cause I didn't know what the occasion would be. Um, and I was like, I think I took it out like at the hotel room and I lined them up on the, the dresser. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, I had to have left it literally a year later. I wouldn't have believed that. But that you leave a watch. I know. And that I was know. Like the most, like, you'd leave your phone before you left it, the fucking watch. It was just watch. the only possibility in my head. Yeah. I was yeah, like, I'm this is the last time I remember it. it. This had to be the occasion. I'm always worried I'm drunk and I'm going to, I set it somewhere where like, I'm not going to yeah. forget that I put it in the desk drawer yeah, yeah, yeah. at the hotel. stupid to yes. remember it. Yeah. And, and you, you never yes. remember it. You're like, okay, underneath the bag of peanut M&Ms. <laughs> <obvious, don't> <laughs> I'm not going to forget this. Yeah. And then. It's, sure yeah. enough. Um, but I was going through and I grabbed one of my old backpacks randomly just to like change up my backpack. And there's a secret compartment in oh, the backpack. Shit. And I stuck my hand in it just to like, I don't know. Um, but I stuck my hand and I felt something. I was like, no way. <gasps> and I pulled it out and it was my watch. Woo! It's, it's kind of like, do you, I don't know if you have a pair of pants like this, but there's like a main pocket. But for some reason, there's a double yeah, yeah, yeah. slit a secret pocket yeah. that you're like, I, I did that the other day. I had a pocket and it had a pocket inside of it. And I know I put like my chapstick or something stupid in it. And I was like, there's no, I just put it in there and I'm <clears throat> digging. I'm like, what in the world? Why do they and have that, that double? Why pocket? is there another pocket in the pocket? Why do they do that? Cause a lot of my pants have that yeah, now. I think it's yeah. for a knife. A little shiv. I don't think like, no, the one like that's down in it. Yeah. yeah. I don't it's know. like an extra one. Yeah. I don't know if it's for like coins. I think it's for. Can we Google that? Ooh. Why do Why do they put oh. a Why do they put pockets and in, in pockets and jeans? <laughs> the Google search. Why is there a pocket in my pocket? <laughs> There's a pocket in my pocket. <laughs> the oh, tiny dude. pocket on jeans. Okay, well this is. Oh, that one. Yeah, for pocket one. watches. Okay. Seems like a lot of extra. Cloth why do jeans have those? I guess this is. My pants were sweatpants too. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Inside. Why does Why does it have a pocket inside the? Deep maybe just, down. Maybe in the just park. extra. No, not that one. The jeans ones we we know. Do these have it? Oh, you know, a lot of sweatpants have it. I feel mm -hmm. like. I think it's like sweatpants are looser, so things can fall out easily. So it's like if you have something, you can kind of like <clears throat> that has to be double it. double protection. Did you cut that hoodie, or uh, you, uh, they sold it like that? I cut it. <laughs> yes, I did. Can you do that to a few of mine? Yeah, I have so many hoodies, and I just don't wear it because I just it's hot. just hot. But that's cool. Yeah, it still like has the coolness of a hoodie. Would you, would you do it for free? <laughs> or would you charge me like a stylist? <laughs> the fact, oh, the fact that you're yeah. even asking to cut around a seam. I'm for Heath, because some, somehow I will fuck it up and I'll cut too much. <laughs> Remember saying you were cutting cut just your long sleeve <laughs> shirts? <laughs> I would cut the, my shorts because I was like, oh, I want to make it look cooler. But it was the move was cut the, cut your sweaters. Like Zane was and cut his long sleeve shirts. <laughs> and then, of course, I would throw it in the watch and they would roll right up. And, <laughs> just up here. And you cannot unroll it back. It's no, not on. No, yeah, it's on. You have to And that was when I had a big belly. Yeah. Too. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. Oh boy. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices, and the path forward isn't always clear. Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life, so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. And trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. And you know, all of us are always dealing with something, whether it's trauma, whether it's stress, whether it's work related, whether it's a bad breakup or anything. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. 
And the best part of all is that it's entirely online and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Exactly, it's super simple. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So stay in the comfort of your own home instead of going out and wasting gas money, driving out, sitting in a waiting room. Just do it directly from your phone. You could do video calls, messages, phone calls if you don't want them to see you. And yes. it's so easy. And so convenient. That's what I love most about that. So let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Exactly. So visit betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath to get 10% off your first month. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's podcast. We love you. Uh, did you see a rental today, Zane? I did. I um, <laughs> So right now we're month to month, so I'm like, for the past like few months, I whenever I see a rental, that's like, oh, cool. I'll like go check it out, <clears throat> and I won't bring uh, <laughs> my roommate. <laughs> you know, I'll check it out. And I won't bring Danielle with me because I'm like, I, I want to check it out. I, I'll, I'll like, I'm down to waste my own time to check yeah. like to see it, and if it's good enough, then I'll ask for it to see it again. And I'll right, bring. right. So you waste <laughs> the realtor's time twice. N well, I'm kidding. I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> I've never, this is my, this was, I've never, this has never happened before. So I, I go see this rental and I'm already not loving her, right? Like the, the street immediately, if the street sucks, I'm not going to like the house. Like there's something about it where I'm like, streets are important. Streets are very important. I had like that median, you know, the median, it like makes the streets so yeah. tight already. And I could, this is my first house where I couldn't find parking uh -oh. anywhere. It was like an apartment complex. I was like, all right, this house, not good, at, uh, not good to start. And I'm like, let's, I'm just going to go check it out. Why not? <laughs> right before we come in, my realtor goes, by the way, Zane, um, the people are still living here that are, <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, it, it yeah. happens. I walk in. Were they in the They're house? like eating dinner. Oh, no. No. They're like, hey, hey, well, and I walk in, I'm like, are, 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 do they know where he's like yeah yeah no it's fine and we're walking around and the place is a disaster disaster oh, clothes <laughs> everywhere fucking the, it, it was don't I, they know they have people coming every time look? when people were looking at my house when i was selling you would it, yeah you would you'd be gone for because the day every yeah. day my every parents time, would go on vacation for every 10 time hours. that somebody was coming in we'd make sure the entire house was clean yeah, of course. Spotless. were the pictures online like of what spotless yes oh. yeah yeah the, the pictures online spotless it looked really nice and it was just a disaster they had like eight cats oh, no. everywhere. and look that's all fine right but like it really turns off people when you're like looking where, at yeah. that's not gonna it's hard to see past it. Do those people see. own it or they're currently renting? I it? think they owned it. I think they owned it because mm. the, because uh, the lady that like was there was like showing us the house Eight and cats. usually like yeah. if if somebody was like looking at my like our house and we're right. renting, I'm not spending my time showing them around. Like that's Wait, not my. When we came to look at this house for the first time, they were here. Yeah, they were living here, and we met them here. Weren't they in the house? Yes, they were. And the dog was running around? Yeah. That's right. But it, but it was clean. But it was clean. But yeah. yeah. They weren't in the way. They told the, they told the kids to get lost, and then they were just kind of hanging out in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I just wish... I wish I could show you a video of this, because... Oh, I, yeah, you couldn't even take pictures I was or not videos. Only, I was so... I, I felt so uncomfortable and normally, you know me, I'll go to a friend's house, I'll open up the fridge. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm very comfortable in other people's homes. I have never been so uncomfortable and <laughs> usually I pass it. I, I like, I, I, I can, I can pass yeah. it. I'm good. I get it. This one, I just could not get. What kind of uh, these uh, how people? How old were they? Was it a family or? It was a family, but it was like, a, it was like a young, young family. I could tell they were like in the industry maybe. And okay. uh, <clears throat> as we're looking around, right? It just is just a lot of noise. I'm seeing the cats are like, Rear! like oh, <laughs> just geez. chaos. And, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going in each room. Every room is just a mess. And I'm just like, oh God, <laughs> shit's missing. And like, you, it looked like people, they've been living here for five years. And you're already it, at that point in the tour where you realize I got to see the rest of this <laughs> uh, to be polite. Yeah. Like you don't want to be like, nope, and you we're don't wanna good. Look, you don't <laughs> so look like, oh. I didn't want to leave yet because I knew that had been like really, like they would have saw that as. Yeah. You don't want to like look too long either. You have to like <laughs> yeah. find that right amount where you like open the door. You're like, oh, oh like like this, is, this is nice. I like. <laughs> and so I'm in the kitchen and I'm like, I, 
I'm not open, I'm not opening anything because they're right there. Like, what right, I'm gonna open you're gonna the go fridge? In the closet. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm not touching anything. I'm looking at Larry and I'm just I'm dying. I'm laughing so hard, just giggling to myself. I gotta. Make and then an two more people come in. There's already like five six people in the house. Other showings. Two more. No no no. Not other showings. Two more people that they invited <laughs> over. Oh, oh no. My. We we scheduled we scheduled it's a party. This, we scheduled the showing. A week ago, a week ago, and two more people come. The girl, the girl's like, I got leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody were like, showing your leggings? And were they, what? Like, I just couldn't wait, believe wait, wait, wait. it. Were they acknowledging you there? And we're kind of just like, no, no. So this, they just lived their life, this, and you were I just. I think this happens in all the time. I think people are coming in all day because <laughs> not one of them looked at me. Not one of them. This, they were That's they were just crazy. there like I didn't exist. But I felt they like they were all like, staring at me. It seems like they like hired these people to show like what it's gonna look yeah, like yeah. when you yeah like oh look <laughs> how look how awesome and comfortable yeah. this house makes us. Do you think when you left like the real estate agent shut the door and looked at all of them going what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Really? What was Matt, that? Really? Yeah, come on. Really? I, the, I'm doing this on my time, guys. And clearly I'm doing this for, for you. you. I don't have and to bring this? people over. <laughs> so, we don't have to put this up for rent. That is so. And I, I'm going funny. into like I'm going into like you know the parents' bedroom <laughs> because. I'm, <laughs> and I'm in there, and the cat is just on the bed, like, like I, you, I couldn't stop finding cats. They were just everywhere. And I'm going in the master room, and I hear them like coming up the stairs and everything. No. And I'm just, just, I can't be in this closet. Like I'm in their personal belongings. Like, and and I, and and then I, I'm like, I, I've seen enough. Thank you so much. I go to the backyard. <laughs> it's a disaster. And she goes, I know the house is a mess, but I hope. I was like, oh, I, I see past it. I <laughs> I did not see past it. I couldn't. Everything was dead. You, you know, the plants, I saw right at plants it. Plants were all dead. I was like, Mom. You, 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 you open up another room and the girl's like putting on her leggings. <laughs> <laughs> just not, like, uh, sorry. Just, I'll, be, I'll be two more seconds. <laughs> That's bad. And was it where, where, what side of town was this? It was It was like five minutes away from our house. In the neighborhood, or it, it was like just down. Boys, and, we need to make an appointment. Yeah. Oh no, you have to we, make an I appointment. I just don't know if it's gonna be like the way I got to see it. Don't waste that realtor's time. Uh, yeah. No. And so I leave. I leave. <laughs> right. I leave. And <laughs> to my car, and the girl runs out and like talk, tries to talk to the realtor, and I'm just, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, oh I'm out of here. Oh, you don't want to hear it? <laughs> oh no, no, no. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Did he like it? Did he like me it? too much? <laughs> uh, why does this always happen? <laughs> Guys, oh. if you are se- trying to sell a house or sell a rental Get or out of it. anything, anything, you just please <laughs> try not to be in the house. You have to try to be as invisible as possible. That's what we did. We were still in the house, but we were invisible. Yeah. You could not see us. We were running. They would see one room. Phew, phew. Yeah, like, don't let focus. them see you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is really funny. This, I, this I, could be you. I got, like, I it wish, I wish the three of you were with me. Because you guys yeah. would be dying. Oh, I would You'd be dying. Is it a nice house, though? It was a nice house, but it Nicer was. Nicer than the one you live in now. Like, if they weren't there. Um. I'm just so curious. I, I would, I definitely would say it was nicer. It was more high end. The kitchen was much more renovated. Like it was, oh. but it's a damn shame when someone a, has a beautiful house and they just destroy it. Yeah, destroy yeah, it, was, it. But I get it. <laughs> I wish they like offered you food to like have dinner with them. <laughs> yeah. like, no, come on, sit at, like, here. There was a, 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 a year and a half or two years ago, I did go to a house where there was almost like a party happening, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. six people were, re- they were celebrating, but. For that, that was a completely different experience, right? Because the house was super clean. They were taking shots. They looked like they were like celebrating a birthday. They're about to leave somewhere. But that just felt so much more inviting. That almost felt like it was like an open house and they were just like kind of celebrating. And it was like they were keeping, they were all in one little section. Mm-hmm. You know, it felt different. When you go to an open house, do you take the the free food and drinks? Absolutely. Absolutely. I take always yeah. the cookies. Yes. Cookies and lemonade. They always do chocolate chip cookies. Mm-hmm. I love seeing the different spreads that people have. Some people <laughs> yes. are like super basic, like the like the water bottles and then like pretzels. Like <clears throat> some junk snacks. But there was one that we went to. Oh, Krispy it, Kreme. Well, the Krispy Kreme one, but there was one kind of in the neighborhood over. And it literally was like Halloween. Every candy you could imagine. Oh, yes. And it was like Sodas, LaCroix, oh, water bottles. You know what that means? 
That means there's something they, that really means, yeah. wrong with the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah there is something bad. And if they bad. don't give you anything, it's a good house. <laughs> that foundation, yeah. about to fucking collapse. I do. I love going to like an open house, but like, I hate the whole like, yo, I'm not here to chat. Like, <laughs> yeah, the person. So what brings you here? What? Like, I know that they have to do that for their job, but yeah. I'm just like, I can't get caught in the hole. <laughs> like, this isn't going to make or break my decision. Yeah. I'm just not interested. So can you see yourself living in this? Yeah. Like, it's perfect <laughs> for a baby. Like, you know, there's something like trying to like decide kids. what you're doing with your own life. Oh, there's that John Mulaney bit that he does where he talks about them looking at houses and they say every room could be a nursery. Yeah. <laughs> could be a nursery. <laughs> <laughs> like that's none of your are you guys trying none right. of your fucking business <laughs> how about that oh my yellow glasses lost them so i'm hoping i see in somebody's stories From your outfit looked great by the way Thank for you. the party like it, who it, dressed it was all you? in my closet oh you whipped that together it was in my closet i couldn't believe it oh the color yeah. palette was perfect she sent me a picture of somebody back in the day I forget who. Yeah, just like a 2000s outfit. You look like kind of the male models from like Zoolander. Or yeah. Like it had that like kind of and, look. And I, I was like, oh, bro, I love these outfits, but like I. Like you had to go shopping. I had to go shopping. And I'm not good at shopping. I was just like, oh, fuck it, whatever. And then I started looking at my closet. And I'm like, Mariah, you're not going to believe it. I just found the exact, <laughs> exact outfit that you sent me. Like in my closet. And I sent it to her. She's like, you, no, you look like a character on Fusion Frenzy. Yeah. Oh my God! I <laughs> Samson. It's exactly what you Zach attacking the yak yak yak. Like that's exactly what you look like. Yeah. Fusion friends. That's that's a good co that's a good costume for <laughs> we Halloween. We should all be oh. one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's not that, a that bad idea the at all. That's Mariah with the uh, the orange pants, the orange bell bottoms, and you know people would be like. Fuck, I, I yeah, cannot yeah. get it. They'll never get it, but they, you know they've seen it before. <laughs> Did you guys see the um, the article about Taco Bell? I thought it was fake until I really looked at it. Taco Bell is suing, or Taco Bell is being sued for false advertising their Crunchwrap Supreme. Because you know how good the Crunchwrap Supreme looks? <laughs> oh, and that's <clears throat> what it really looks like. And it like. shows like they have like a lot of meat in there and like the Mexican pizzas and all that. Yeah. They have a class action lawsuit against Taco oh. Bell. I feel like and every restaurant does this shit. They should all be like, are we entitled to the compensation or does yeah. one guy get the benefit because I, he- I, did, I honestly didn't think that you could like get in trouble for this. You know what I think? Everybody does it. Their False punishment, advertisement. Their punishment should be make me look like, make it look like that when I order it. Right. Like your punishment. No, now you have to make now it like that. <laughs> you don't have to pay anything. There's nothing like- Make them look like that. Because you know half of that advertisement is glue. Yeah. Look at that. They pulled all the meat Bro. to the front of I that bet just, I bet if you got it, you let it sit for a little <laughs> bit and let it seep down. Like, that's insane. I You can't even make that. Like, that's, that's impossible. Crazy. Dude, that's Photoshopped. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> obviously, like, copied and pasted on top of each other. Who gets the <laughs> money, though? I'm so curious about that. You know, Facebook has that big lawsuit where a lot yeah. of... If, we've had our account since, like, 2007, if you still have it. Okay. If you've been on Facebook for, like, over 10 years, you can... Uh, you are a you're loved eligible one to winning entitled? like uh, like up to like a hundred, I think hundred to five hundred dollars. You wait can get. For, wait for what? How do, how do I? Where uh, do I sign up? Because sometimes I see TikToks what, about they, like, it, and sold, it's there. Sold information or something. Yeah, there's like some data leak, and like we're entitled to some money, but okay. I don't. Sell but then it's so complicated trying to get the damn money, and you got to fill out a bunch of paperwork. I don't know, but I know there's that out there. But damn, but they might what, claim puffery on it. Like what? Um, what is the like legal action. So I think I heard something that it has to be with within like 50% of the uh, meat that's shown or something like that. Oh, so like if they show, you know, th that would be considered a hundred. You would have to at least be putting at least 50% of that into the actual product for it to be like passing. <laughs> I want to be on the jury for this case. <laughs> but in order for them to like hold this class action lawsuit, I'm sure a bunch of people went one day and went to different ones. They gather, they, they, they gather evidence, right? It's not like they're all- <laughs> Just go to like you, 50 no, different you know what I mean? Like in order for them before they do this, I'm sure they spend like two Survey, weeks going, yeah. To, yeah, going to different Taco Bells and they're like, all right, this one, all right, this one's fucked. Right. Right, like like fun. Shark Tank when they have a product and they bring the tray over to each shark. That's you, go ahead, take a <laughs> you know that lawyer going to come open that case be like serving. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh man. I mean that's what it does look like though. And it's that it's crazy how much Taco Bell's prices have gone up. Oh really? It's insane. Are you going to Taco Bell a lot? That's no, but I just crime. remember like how much it used to be. 
Yeah. Like my family used to go there and we would get everything for the four of us for like 20 bucks. I agree. Some, I hate when you, when you order on DoorDash and you're like, this is really expensive. You're like, I just paid 40 bucks for, for a Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme in a soda. That's why I always <laughs> go for the cravings, the $5 cravings box. Yeah, isn't a there little, like a dollar menu on there where you can just get like... Ev or, no, everything is so expensive. Like how much is just like a regular taco at Taco Bell? Jordan, you're pretty good with the prices. You go, you frequent it. <laughs> the, the dollar menu does not exist anymore. What is what? The, <laughs> neither, uh, McDonald's no. dollar menu doesn't exist either. Yeah, it's the value meal. Value menu. It's the, and the value. And, oh, and the so it's, it's like two. It's a, like two dollars and fifty cents for chicken, like a a, mm. mixed, a mixed spicy chicken is two forty nine. It used to be a buck instead of a dollar. And them shits are small too. <sighs> I just like knowing that there's an affordable option. It's very unhealthy for people, but like it's not anymore. I, let though. there be at a dollar burger you can go buy. It used to be like it was unhealthy, but it, it was like it but used it to made be cheap, sense. But it made sense because it was cheap. But like fifteen bucks for a meal at Taco Bell or McDonald's now, Absurd. I would rather have a real meal. Do they, you make it much better. Are the kids still getting toys, or is it just like a QR code? Uh -uh, download an app. They can't afford <laughs> that shit anymore. <laughs> have you have you seen all the um the shrink? I think they call it shrink advertising. Um, basically companies will like rebrand or repackage like the look of something and they'll cut it <clears> down, like how much product they're actually giving you. So like Gatorade used to be like that fat bottle. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, we're going for a slimmer, less plastic to make it like a, a, a better option or whatever. Then they like slim the bottle down. You get less, but they still charge you the same price. Oh, oh, so they everything over the last like 10, 15 years has been like what you're getting for the value has been shrunk, but they're charging the same amount. So you're like, you don't think that you're getting ripped off, but you're actually getting less of the product. Interesting. I, I do that. think that they give like Americans are too much of like a bottle of something. Have you seen the size of like the double big gulps? Are they still oh, like, oh. like the gas station ones? Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're massive. It is absurd. A double big gulp? <laughs> What's a double big gulp? Uh, it's hard it. to look at a picture of it and be like, that's really big. <laughs> the oh, double gulp. Give, how embarrassing for us. Give it a rest. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you know those people after they drink it, tossed it right into the ocean <laughs> too. Like, <laughs> it's, I, I legit think it's a two liter. Oh my God. Speaking of that, did you see? <laughs> what? Did you see Sydney Sweeney's um buy like uh, um you know how she's like doing buy ads like yeah, Mariah but, like Mariah yes. she, she she did a buy ad a buy ad where she's like us uh, like water skiing with a buy and everybody everybody was like trying to cancel her for there because there was no proof that she, she glittered but they're just like you know that went in the lake and it was a whole thing do you uh, know I think you might know a little bit more than me yeah she went out <clears throat> on the water skiing or whatever it's called and she like opened the bottle and took a sip but people were so focused that they couldn't see the lid <laughs> and her clap back was just a screenshot she zoomed in and the lid is in her hand it's, it's she's like holding it like this in the bottle that's Sydney Sweeney yeah, that's not what my video looked like <laughs> <laughs> do, wait, do you think this is for a buy ad are the people like can we see oh this is it sorry it was like so far away that brand was like we spent, <laughs> holding it right here. We spent <laughs> how much and we can't even but see you it. know what matt there's some there's some people that they get away with that literally they could be holding in a hand from a mile away yeah impressive oh. to get the cap off one-handed though look at her go <laughs> <laughs> matt, but you matt. Have <laughs> aren't in the creative briefs they're like please don't do anything dangerous like <laughs> like we would never be able to get away with that no they would not like if a you, if you never. pitched it to them you're like yeah i'm gonna water ski and drink it <laughs> be like uh no <laughs> we don't want we don't want people thinking that they can drink one and then water ski after right it's just crazy that you in order to do something <clears throat> like that now you have to post like post proof afterwards that you didn't litter yeah because it's gonna like just that everybody assumes yeah Heath, like, remember when I that's remember right. when I got a, a a deal for a Brita filter and I did it in the pool? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> wait, what? what? What was it again? <laughs> I, I got. I remember I you got, got a deal with deal. like a felt like a water filter thing. Yeah. And <laughs> and wait, you, and like, we use just, chlorine we just, water? <laughs> with water. All right, well, that's and, and we were, and for the picture, <laughs> I was pouring it in his mouth, but we were in the pool. Oh. And I remember we were, the brain was just like, 
<laughs> we don't want people thinking it's okay to be drinking pool water. Pool water. And I'm like, no, no one's going to see that. And then <laughs> I pushed it and had all the comments. Um, <laughs> all the comments were like, so does this filter out pool water? Yeah, does it dechlorinate the water? <laughs> That's really funny. You, I mean, usually people that's, don't. That's a lawsuit. That, that that's a hundred percent a lawsuit. Oh god, that was one of my first two. Uh, I never. Personally, did you see the new McDonald's restaurant? A they're, McDonald's they're, restaurant. They're, they're spinoff. Oh wait, a spinoff. Oh, the healthy one. I'm not sure exactly what they're serving like yet. The Charlie is it called? It's called Cosmics. Oh, never mind. They haven't really released too much about it, but basically. Um, they're opening like a few locations and oh. what I want it to be is all of the discontinued items. Oh, like you can, where you can go get like a snack McRib wrap. anytime. The, yeah. the, the snack wraps. That's smart. Everything. But is it like a higher quality version or like the, exactly what it used to be? Like, like what is on the McDonald's menu? Well, so it says like, apparently they tried to do this in the 80s, the story of Cosmic uh, in one 1987's commercial, Cosmic lands in McDonald land only to be discovered by Ronald McDonald Grimace and the professor, don't know who that is. <laughs> Wait, it says another character that has since faded into obscurity. <laughs> <laughs> um, and okay, so Cosmic is a person that they introduced so this says it will be a small format restaurant with all the dna of mcdonald's but its own unique personality the chain plans to announce information uh about it at the end of the Damn, year they saw that grimace trend go viral no, really. and they're it like you know it, what yeah. we're Zane, gonna take it says it, it right there That's go down what it is you're right news of cosmic being plucked from mcdonald's past comes after the extreme successful revival oh, of grimace that. So this is going to be a pop-up spirit Halloween type <laughs> shit. It's like, it's only going to be around for like two, three months. Didn't they make like a billion dollars off this whole Grimace shit? I'm sure. Probably. Insane. Did you see oh, Pee Wee Herman passed? Yes. Yeah. Um, Paul Rubin, right? Is yeah. his name? Yeah. That come, was, death comes in three. And Angus. Do you think he was like, never mind. What? No, I feel like Angus Cloud and him died on the same day, and everyone's like, Angus, a Pee Wee died. And it was like, no, Angus. I think, I, well, I think it's because of how they both died. He had cancer. Paul Rubin had cancer. No, no, no. I, I know I'm saying like, su like suicide. It's so or, crazy. It was, I saw a TikTok ad of like Angus Cloud that day, and wow. I was like thinking about him, and then it was just weird. Like an hour later, he yeah, died. That's really sad. So sad. Um, yeah. There was one more person that. Because I saw all three in one day, and I was like, "Whoa, that's weird." It's always like three. It always. Is oh, was it Sinead O'Connor? No, and no, no, oh no, no. I was talking about the. Oh, you know all those videos of the guy that climbs up to the top. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, he did not. He fell. died. Oh, Alex Honnold died. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. no. It he, was. Uh, it was like uh, he would hang <clears throat> off of like buildings and do like. Oh, but he was like a big YouTuber, skyscraper. Like, oh. He. Bell. Yeah, like daredevil type stuff. Oh shit! Um, I, I I forgot his name. I forget where. I think he was in Hong Kong. Yeah, um, like uh, sixty floors up. Just what? Very sad. I'm trying to remember to what his go. name was. Died doing what he loved. Yeah, Remy. Remy. Remy Luci Lucidi. Lucidi. Damn, it's just it's so sad that they do it until it happens. I know. You know yeah. what I mean? What are you doing? I don't know. It is crazy though. Like it, they do it till they something it, happens. They do it until it happens, and like they, they're aware <clears throat> of that. And I don't know how they come to terms or grips. I mean, it's my like thing is okay. I understand. Okay, God rest his soul. Yes, he died doing what he loved. But you're f climbing a skyscraper where people, normal civilians, are walking down below, and you're not c c committing suicide. But if you fall in an accident, and you're leaving all these people traumatized. Like, what the hell was that? I, the like, thing is that he it, just, you're putting all those people down on the definitely. the ground uh, at risk. If even when he fell, he could have hit somebody. Like, I get skydiving, climbing in a mountain. That's risky. But you know, if something happens, you're falling. But one I think with he nature. genuinely believes that, like, oh, like I'm obviously I'm not gonna like drop. Well, that's the, to me that's that happen. God rest his soul. Sorry to make fun. <clears throat> that seems a little stupid. I mean, it, it, it is. I mean, it's yeah, and you can hurt somebody. You can like fall on a car. You could it, it, anything. So I get that. It's very um, it's reckless. I always just but, want I mean, to know this. The, the whole, I mean, that in general is just reckless. I just want to know the story <clears throat> of how they get up there. How, you, how, did you put on multiple disguises and you knew the codes and like, that's just crazy how they got up there in the first place. I think it's cool when I can climb to the top of the billboard by saddle ranch. Yeah, and that's, I gotta, that's sick. I, I gotta go up one flight of stairs <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it.
Oh we, my god. We gosh. were we were something back then. Yeah, we were. When we were on that billboard, naked, all of the city Afraid. to see us, we were just. I faked and said I was about <clears throat> to propose on when the, the billboard when the cops came. Wait, what? Was I there? Oh, did you, that's what you told them to. Yeah, like they, they were de-escalate like, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was funny. I don't think I was there. Did okay. So Cardi B threw a mic at a fan? You didn't see that? I saw like a okay. video of people throwing water so at her. Here, and here's I didn't the thing. Wanna... Here, so at first, all the videos are popping up of her. Just um, a girl throws a drink and then she throws the mic at them. At first, I'm like, well, that was really stupid for the girl to just fucking throw her. I mean, it's just disrespectful. I'm like, Cardi should have never threw that mic, but like. It's just, it's just blatant disrespect to be throwing water at her. And I just kept seeing those videos. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Like for all these different angles. And then two days later, I just see all these clips of Cardi B going, throw water at me, it's hot. And everyone's throwing right. water. That's what I saw. So <laughs> many clips of people throwing water. I'm like, oh my God, everybody's throwing water at her. And then all of a sudden this one girl throws a drink and she gets the mic and blown. She fucking throw. I was like, What's the difference between all these people throwing their sh their drink so and then was there a, was there a video of the mic throw? Yes. Yeah. Can we see it? Yeah. That was the None one that kept going it? viral. It kept going viral of her throwing the mic at somebody for throwing oh. water at her, and then it surfaced the other side of it of her saying, "Throw water on me, it's hot," and at the end she says, "But not my face." So they think the girl oh. like did it at her face and she just like acted out, but like okay. <laughs> Tell me some water here, bitch, because I'm hot. And give me some water. Splash her down. Give us a little splash her fuck down. Woo! That okay, shit feels good. Put that shit in my pussy, bitch. Come on. Put that shit in my pussy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this Disney? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, go back, go back. I want to Oh. <laughs> She must have had, I think she had her eye on this girl prior to, and she was probably giving her a hard time. No, no, because I saw another angle Wait. right after she threw it. She was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, is she real? I think she realized that she went too high, maybe. Or there's probably ice in it, too. Like, what's wrong with ice? Uh, well, I bet, like, some people are throwing, like, just water bottle like that, but this girl did the cup, and that ice kind of hits you. Damn, Cardi's intrusive thoughts. <laughs> yeah, got the best of her. Did she still finish the set? That's it's pretty crazy that she like this throw wasn't that bad though. It was just like a you, the mic? No, the water. Oh no, the mic throw was crazy. Oh, though. the mic throw was brutal. Like that could have really injured somebody's head. Damn, how people it's so funny security is ready until until something happens. See, that looked like an ice Ooh. throw, like the way it hit her. Like mm. but no, you she should have thrown the mic. <laughs> is she getting is she's getting in trouble for that? I think that because she hit another girl. So I think the other girl's suing her. Uh, go for it. Shit, I would too. Go for it. <laughs> Cardi Come B, on. go get that money. <laughs> Take that. Take that money. Because that's hey. a hard throw. That Like, I would be so scared to throw, like, uh, my like my, my towards a crowd like yeah. that. You don't know who it's about to hit. They're heavy. Did you see the, uh, this kind of happened, like, a few weeks ago with Miranda Lambert at a concert? Oh, yes. my, I saw that. She's performing a song, and then these, like, group of moms, like, get up, and they, they are taking, like, a group photo while she's, like, singing, and she stops and goes, I'm sorry, these ladies here are trying to take a selfie, and I'm trying to sing a damn song, and frankly, it's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> and these, oh, and so she calls out these, like, women, and it, tur it turns into kind of an awkward situation, but the women are trying to, like, snap back at her and, like, what's wrong with us taking a photo? Like, or everyone's getting mad at Miranda Lambert. For I, I saw the video, and I was like, that was really weird. And I think, you know, she's more traditional. I get it. And there was no phones back then where they had to, like, worry about, like, but everybody has their phone at a concert. She thought she was doing something. <laughs> she thought she was like, I'm sorry. Can we just respect the song? These ladies trying to take a selfie. Thinking like you're going to win everybody yeah, over. Yeah. But yeah, no, 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 like you're having such a over. diva moment. Like, I, I don't, I'm curious if she has like apologized or what she's going to do. And I feel like now at concerts, everybody, oh, I saw someone at the concert, like next time, just constantly trying to take a <laughs> selfie. To get a reaction. Just to get a reaction out of her. That's funny. That is really dangerous to do something like that because that's probably all you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, that's probably, that's all she could get in the future is just people just taunting her. I'm, I'm trying to think of like, what would cause her to do that? Is it because the <clears throat> attention was not fully on her? 
Like in her head, I'm sure she was like, "No, I, I'm singing. You should be paying it." Like, not, I think it was not probably like a kind worried. of a serious song, and she was just kind of like, in yeah. her feels, and it just wasn't the right moment. But like, it it, pro it possibly could have just been happening right in front of her, and it was just like a big group picture because they so looked like they had lighting <laughs> out. That didn't look like it was taken on one picture. It, that looked like everyone had their like, lights on. It, there, oh, there was really? a there was a session going on, but still, like, but yeah, that, that is a. Str I want to find out what flash they got on that phone. That is like, wait, that's the picture right <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, that's the picture. Oh, yeah, that's Wait, really nice. <laughs> They're so far away. I didn't see the picture. That's nice. Oh, and they were trying to get her in the picture. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that is a great picture. <laughs> Won't buy another ticket. <laughs> Oh, we are done. It's going to be so embarrassing. Imagine you spend all that money for your favorite artist and you decide this would be a great shot. And then you hear Miranda Lambert saying you're pissing her off. There is nothing worse than like having a favorite person like that. And then it just you have that interaction and it's gone. Yeah, because they, they probably will never listen to her. Like, I I feel like they'd be so. No, I, I honestly, I you don't think they did they clap back the the moms. Um, online they did. Oh, they they did. were like, "What's the big deal? We're just taking a photo." You just, like, you they would just said look they at were them like, differently. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'd be like, "Well, all right." Never mind. <laughs> but the fans said, "We won't be buying another ticket to we'll see her." Not be buying another ticket. But artists got to watch out though, because fans are always on the fan side. Like no one's ever on like an artist side when something like that happens. Oh, yo, they took. There's Wait, how multiple many? There's pictures. a lot. It seems like <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just. <laughs> Yo, they were having a session. It looks like they're in like a private booth too. Yeah, it look kind of, I think, yeah, it looks like they're like kind of front row before the pit starts. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Will not. I, I'm just curious if they looked like other people, would she, like, I don't know. These do yeah, kind of look they like had a, they, rich. Had a they had a table and everything. Oh, they had <laughs> bottle service. Yeah, that looks yeah, like it's a, a table. They paid, they paid extra to be at this table. Now this is a good <laughs> Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is hysterical. Uh, <laughs> just for Instagram. That's funny. Do you funny. think one That's of them? really funny. Do you think one of them's like, Barb, just drop it. Don't say anything to the press. Let's no, not. And she's it. like, no, no, I need to. Teresa. It. She's like, our photos ever on the net. Like, <laughs> Please, can we just drop it? But you know, this girl on the, on the far left is pissed because all the articles are probably cropping it. And all oh, you yeah. see is like yeah. the four yes. girls. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. Is that like the demographic of Miranda Lambert, like listeners? Yes. I bet. That's yeah. pretty spot on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that like the demographic? <laughs> That's the demographic, right? Uh, that ain't like the Swifties. That's the. Uh, is uh, wait, a body was found in a barrel in, in Malibu, Malibu. Yes. yeah, yes. a couple of days ago. In the Eerie lagoon. the way it looked, but it was in a barrel <sighs> by the ocean, yeah. it was yeah. in a barrel, Matt. Oh, like some mafia shit. That's some okay. fucking that they wanted that body to be found. Like, right? Yeah. Why would you ditch it? You could uh, ditch that body in the barrel in the middle of the canyon, they were sending far a out. No one, well, could, it, I think it washed up into the lagoon. And they noticed it, like the people, I guess, like working there, like late at night. And they're like, all right, we'll just go check it out in the morning. You think that washed up on there? Yeah. The, ah, I well, think, it's, I don't know if it's standing How does it wash after. up like that? Well, if it's sealed, it would float. Who? But okay. Th so it, it said, might be standing now because they like opened it and looked. You know what I mean? Dude, I would faint if I, so it said around 3 p.m. on Sunday, a maintenance worker from the state park saw the black plastic barrel floating in the lagoon and brought it in with a kayak. Oh, okay. The maintenance yeah. worker didn't <clears throat> open it. On Monday morning, about 10 a.m., a lifeguard duty saw the same barrel now back in the lagoon, swam out and brought it in from the beach where he opened it and discovered the body. Oh my God. And they still don't know who this person is because they haven't come out about but it. But it yet, says no. a source with a source familiar with the investigation wasn't authorized to speak publicly, said the barrel was opened because of its suspicious weight. It the fact that opened they Regardless, the fact that they haven't like specified who's in there yet is really. I wonder weird. if it's cartel related. Like maybe it happened way off the coast and like right, it just ditched like the body the and it went that far. I would. I to me that sounds. That means it happened on a boat. Like I don't think you go out there with a body and yeah. roll it out and hope. But no. buddy, that's gonna come right back to shore. That had to have happened out on a boat and they just like. Ditched it, but wouldn't you put in some sand, some weights in there? If you're really gonna get do that, it, do it right. There must have been. Oh, that is spooky. I wonder if they put some sort of um like acid in there, or was it just like 
Oh, just like the, Breaking Bad style? Like, was it bones? Because a body is also, it could be just bones or like just a decompose. Uh, as for how long the body had been there, he noted the foot didn't look decomposed. Oh! Oh, so it's pretty new. Fresh. Ooh. What if it was from like back in time? Like, what if it was right. like a body from like it's the 70s? Traveler. Like his wallet and everything? Or, or yeah, like... <laughs> It's like a it was a time traveler. It's like a Game Boy. Like, <laughs> an iPod Nano. We're like, what? Yeah, the craziest time capsule. Yeah, just like, <laughs> check his pockets. <laughs> check his pockets. Jitterbug. Uh, um, <laughs> if I had opened up a barrel and I saw a body, I would faint instantly. I would, I would, I would um, have a stroke. There's like, it just, you can't even process that. I wouldn't be able to process that. I don't. I don't even know what that would do to me for the rest of my life. When I see a car crash happen, my whole body like fucking go, goes into a. Yeah. I just recently found out about the cop um, that was dragged by the car. Uh, what? Who? What? Where? When? And Jordan, dragged what? by the car. So basically, this group of teens were trying to steal an ATV and tied the ATV to a car with like a rope and an. Like off duty, like two off duty cops, like heard it, saw it, and went to go, like, you know, see what was going on. And they pulled like face to face with the the kids that were towing the ATV. Yeah, and they let go of the ATV from the rope and went to like drive off. And the cop was getting out of the car to like basically like chase after it, and his foot or something got caught in the rope that was behind their car. Oh and no! Caught him and dragged him at like 40 miles an hour with his foot attached to the rope. And it was for a long time. And oh my God. Oh, and he died. Andrew Harper. And he ended up dying. They said like it was, it was unrecognizable. Oh, like down the oh road. God. Oh, but, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. But these kids That's horrible. only got charged um, with manslaughter. What else would they be charged with? Murder. Is manslaughter not murder? Well, because they did the not they didn't know well, they were the pulling thing is, him. They said that they didn't know that he was being pulled, but they did a test and put like a weighted dummy behind a car in the same car to see what it would feel like. And basically they were saying like it he was being swung back and forth. So they thought oh, the, they thought the kids were trying to get him off, like they knew he was on it, but like didn't want to stop. So they I guess were like swerving trying to get him off. Um but Basically, uh, this whole thing ended up passing something called Harper's Law. Anytime you kill a uh, officer of the law, it's considered um, uh, murder, and you can't oh, wow. like, get off for manslaughter as like something like. When that. did this happen? This was 2020, I believe. But it happened in 2022. Is when the law. Yes, the law got passed in 2020. Oh my! Wow. I can't even imagine like that happening, like his foot just getting stuck there, in that. There's rope. the video leading up to the whole thing. It's awful. And then the cop is like trying to follow behind, and there's like pieces of stuff that oh, he was like wearing oh, that were like on. Oh, okay. Really sad. <sighs> All right. On a on a lighter note, cheaters. We um. <laughs> there was this clip that I saw. Uh, <laughs> this clip that I saw where this person, this guy, had a ring on his door, right, and it's attached to the door. So like when it opens and closes, you see it like kind of move, right? And this. <laughs> so the, okay, so the they bring camera on this door. This guy, he. <laughs> <laughs> you see him opening the door. Obviously, this guy is trying to cheat on his wife or his girlfriend. <laughs> and the ring camera, you know, both him and his wife or girlfriend have the uh, have access to the ring camera. So he's doing everything he can possible to get this girl. Oh, on. no. And I just need you to see the way he tries to bring her in. <laughs> oh, look at you. My dude thinks he's a slick little. <laughs> wait, I'm I'm confused. Just wait, wait. He's a <laughs> oh, so and then her. Okay, so and the girl sees this. She's like, "Whoa, what?" I was like, "What? Who the fuck is that?" And then the day before, she checks the day before, and she sees him practicing with himself no. to do it. No, so he decides to crawl. <laughs> That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That is really funny. Please watch. <laughs> so this is him practicing. <coughs> My dude is on the floor. 
<laughs> like, but you know, he watched this part back and was like, "All right, this all right, is good." Said, that is, is this good. the girl who's talking? Is this her boyfriend? And then, and then her friend, uh, this girl sees this and uh, just uh, just sends her friends uh, through right get, over. She goes, right call over. her out, and they're like, "What's going on?" <laughs> They're like, we're coming here to pick up her shit. Fuck you. And they're just going off on him. <laughs> but this guy really thought he got away with it. That's so funny. How dumb can you be? Very dumb. Like, like dude, like the first practice. Imagine being her crawling, <laughs> going along with it. <laughs> okay. All right. So just against the wall. No, I've done it. Trust me. <laughs> and boy, that's a good camera too. That's a good. Do you camera. think? Okay, but the girl clear, clearly knew that, she, like, he was cheating too. Like, because obviously, oh, he's yeah, like, I mean, get yeah, down, she, my she, I, I think she saw the clip and she was probably like, "Huh? Right. Why is the? Why is he?" That is some commitment where he's like, hey, I need you to crawl down yeah. on the floor. And she's like, game. Any girl would be like, I think this has gone a little too far. Or why doesn't he just go to her house? Like, right. I don't understand. Oh, my God. It is way too risky. to. He must be that good at bed for her to, like, crawl on all floors. To, like, what's going on? He, that dick must be bomb. He's just like, and I'm so curious then when this clip goes out, do you think they're still going to stay together? The couple like that is not, right. is cheating with each no. other. But then no they're probably way. humiliated. This clip going crazy <laughs> viral. He's probably just like, oh my gosh. I would love to interview like somebody that's gone viral. Like the, like the girl, like the, um, the girl on the plane where her audience is everywhere. What is oh, their life yeah, yeah. like? I want to see a documentary of each viral person that like went way too viral and just to see what they're like. Because everybody saw that TikTok. So she literally will be recognized anywhere she goes. Which one? The that guy right there. Yeah. You know what? Like a part of me just kind of feels bad too because like I'm sure they didn't want to be the like I don't know. This is the pug one. <laughs> like everyone uh, can we get pugs? the audio or it still says the, the sound on there on the on the clip. And I'm telling you, I am telling everybody right now, you can believe it or not believe it, but that mother pugger, that mother pugger back there is not real. Okay. <laughs> so good. So innocent. They set that whole thing up. Perfect. They did. Like, they even hung them fucking balloons in the back there. Damn. D attention to detail. Are they like uh, adult TikTokers? I or? think she has like a pug kind of TikTok <laughs> and... She makes content, but and she has like a is having like a pug meetup, little pug community. Oh, and you know, as soon as she thought of that, she's like, "Cindy, I got the best got idea." She, but I just come feel early, bad. Come early to help set up. But I, I just feel bad for the poor old woman. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be another one that she has to worry about. I would like to be a part of like a, a meetup of some sort. A meetup, like like uh, somebody uh, that oh. all has the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, like or like. You know, I guess people that do car meetups or this, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, there's the Corgi Beach Day. Everybody who has a Corgi brings their Corgis to a park. What what kind of meetup would you want to go to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. World's largest knitting club. Knitting club. Yeah, knitting club. I guess I, I like a little VHS like swap. I heard a pretty fun. Like okay. you go oh. trade VHSs, you bring your stuff, see what oh, other people cool. have. Those are kind of cool. I want to throw a Zane party. All Every, Zanes. I've always wanted to do that for Matt. I think they're, they're they almost broke. Was there a meetup for everyone with the same? I think name? Ryan. Yes, it was Ryan. Ryan. I don't remember, but it was a a crazy meetup. They had a. I one time I was at a friend's pregame, like we were all partying. We had six mats in a room. Six mats. Wow. Kind of cool. Like it's it was like me, my other friend Matt, <laughs> and our other friend Matt, and then two other mats were coming, and then another mat came over. You, six mats for your birthday. You should have a Zane party, but everybody has to dress up as different eras of your of Zane of you. Ooh. That, I feel like that's hard. Like but high school, you. That's they would have hard. to be. Oh, wait, all these Zanes have to dress up as him. No, 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 no. no, no, like, no. Like, no. like we all pick an era of Zanes. Like I, we would go through his Instagram and like try yeah. to make the bumblebee an costume. Boom. Got it. Like yeah, I would do it. like the one with like the hair, that yeah. photo shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so so pretty much like you try to match like Instagram pictures. That would be a good yeah. YouTube video. I made my own eras <laughs> tour. Like that. That's like, cute. I like that. It'd be yeah. fun. Kind of yeah, great idea. <laughs> Shit. Kind of jealous. I saw a guy spoken. In the bathroom at the airport, a cigarette. A what? Yeah, I was, I was, I was taking a poop uh, during my long layover, and I'm like smelling. I'm like, oh, someone who just smells like smoke is in here, and I'm like, no, that is being burnt. And I clean up and I walk out, 
just smoke coming out of one in of the bathroom. In the bathroom at the airport. <clears throat> That's crazy. That he couldn't even like he just came from outside. Yeah. No. Or or no, even if he, he just was, got he, off the he plane. Was, he was I think doing like a few drags and then like put it out in the bathroom. That's, That's crazy. That's crazy. You Bold. were in there during that time. Bold. I mean, I get it though, because <laughs> yep. when, when I was young and I was like smoking cigarettes, hiding it from my parents, I tried doing it one time inside in the bathroom in the house. Oh my god! I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but you know, you're young and dumb. Yeah, I took the toilet paper, stuffed and it with dryer stuffed, sheets. I stuffed it in the in the roll, and I lit the cigarette and I started to smoke it. And I was trying to blow it in here, but it was coming off the tip of the cigarette going up. And then it started filling up. And I was like, <laughs> and it was just going everywhere. And I was like, this is not working at all. So I literally just like threw it into the water real quick. And the entire bathroom reeked after those like five seconds. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, this is awful. Uh, so then I had to like turn the sink on. I started every body spray that was in the bathroom, every lotion. I was just like putting it everywhere. You didn't, you, did you get away with it? Just, yeah. You're putting lotion anything, like on the countertop. Anything that has a smell was out and being used. But you know what, Heath? The thing is that your mom smoked cigarettes. So it's really hard for her to yeah. even because she couldn't smell it that easy. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Especially like coming it? home from work, like she is probably the cigarette smell on her clothes. So like it's going to be really hard to even prove that. That, oh, somebody smoked in the bathroom. God, That's so really funny though that you thought. Everything. I'm so jealous of kids who have like just <clears throat> edibles these days or that they can just get so high easy. so easy. We were like yeah. burning Kush all the fucking time. <laughs> we were using we, it, apples, water bottles, the breeze, fuck, soda was, can. You and you come home, your mom just wanted that hug. Just <laughs> my mom, every time I would get home, every night, she'd go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just trying to sniff Sniff's out that something, kush. and it got to the point. I was like, "Mom, stop smelling yeah. me!" And just added to the paranoia because you're already hot. Can you? Right. Can you? And you? Can you smell pens? I can. I can smell dab <clears throat> pens very easy. When I was on the beach, I knew it was that dab pen smell. You know that I know, but like if I smoke a dab pen and then like thirty minutes later I go home, you can't smell. Oh that. no, it doesn't say on you, but you can smell it like in a room, definitely. If oh yeah, it's a dab yeah. pen. Damn, they can get away with anything these days. Are we doing a high episode soon? Aren't we doing one this week? Or you've missed the last you two missed, episodes. You missed a lot. Yeah, you missed it. Oh, I thought we were record. We talked about doing one today, before I left town on Tuesday because you were going to Lollapalooza. Today's the today's the first. We asked if you could do it the next day, and you said, "Oh no, I'm leaving." Who'd you do it with? You got high without me, Mariah. You got high, Mariah? No, you didn't. She did. Yes. She, yeah. She. Oh, uh, we got high off Kava and Kratom. This is not <laughs> true. This didn't happen. <clears throat> Dead it ass. Did. Come on. Check the Patreon. It's up already. I saw, no, I saw a, a live Q&A thing on there. It was before We also the, posted the live Q&A. That's bullshit. It was right that before was bullshit. that. bullshit. I was on there today, the Patreon. You didn't check hard enough. It's always at the end of the month, I guess. Look, look, look. It's the first of the month. <clears throat> uh, it's the first of the month. Bonus episode. <clears throat> Childhood embarrassment. No. Yep. Oh, so y'all just, y'all aren't high. Oh, we were, it, we were high. It was feeling it. Interesting. I was, we, I drank two cans. I was lit up. Damn. Crad. Crad. I don't right. even know what it is. I kind of craving getting high. I like doing it this way. <clears throat> but then we saw a comment that said that, um, that it's actually really bad for you. And so everything. <laughs> so now we're not doing anything. <clears throat> I got a, well, we both got a pack. We leave. First thing, bright in the morning. Where? I'm going home. He's going home. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're going separate way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're separating. Don't. Philadelphia. Stat are you going to Bachelor? I'm landing in Philadelphia. Staten Island. Very close. I'm going to Long Beach Island in New Jersey. Jersey Shore. Yes. The Jersey Shore. Yeah. And no, I'm just going to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Try not to get kidnapped out there. What airport do you have to land into? Tennessee airport. Uh, Chattanooga. Oh, yeah. Cool. Never been to chat. <laughs> oh, and me and Matt will be also in Tennessee. Same I'll time for my bachelor party. Oh, wait. Is no. it the same time? No, it's not this weekend. <laughs> oh, no. It's not. <laughs> I leave tomorrow. Oh, it's, it's next Poor week. Thing. It's, it's next oh, week. That would have been fun. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Zane shows up this how weekend. Far are you for, how far are they from Nashville? Ooh, like a bit two of a hour, drive. Two like, and a half hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not bad at all. Um, all right. Let's close it out because we got to pack. Okay. Oh, and okay. I am I'm, I'm just tired. And we got to do the unwind, which uh, if you don't know what that is, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we keep these cameras rolling for another 20, 30 minutes. You get an extended version of this podcast. You're also going to get every single episode a few days early and ad-free. We do a 
bonus episode every single month, either drunk, high, or on Kratom Kava. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have a live Q&A every month and a Discord and a bunch of stuff all for $5 on patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Perfect. And you get to check out <clears throat> these episodes, audio form on Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, all those podcast platforms every Monday. And on Tuesdays, we post the video form of these episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Also, make sure to get the best coffee in the world, Kremota.com. You <clears throat> can get the matcha, matcha starter kit. You can get bagged coffee ground coffee, whole bean espresso. You can get our K-cups and all of our different flavors and all the drinkware as well. Uh, again, Cremota.com. Yes, and get them quick. Um, thank you so much for tuning into another episode and we will see you next week and we'll see you unwinders in five seconds. Peace. Ciao. Peace. Hey.